Well, I got to tell you, man, I learned a lot, but first I got to say happy Labor Day weekend, man. A lot of us working people took knots on the head from hired goons by corporations that didn't want us to rise out of poverty. So there you go. It's a working day weekend, and I love it, man. Number two, stay out of Syria. I got no time for that crap. These people, their job is killing one another. They've been killing one another since before Bible times. They don't like each other. That whole Middle East thing, fence it off, charge admission to watch these people in action, and just leave them alone. Joe is right, man. No more wars. We got enough of that. Stay out of it. George Washington knew that. Across the uni, across the universe, settle me right down. I love it, man. Because you got to understand that the shorter your want and need list is, the more chances you have of occasional glimpses of happiness as you toil on this mortal coil, getting ready for the big reward. <laughs> oh yeah, you better enjoy what you're doing right here and forget the big reward. Patty's poem knocked me out. I like it. Anticipating the unknown. That's what it's all about. Anticipating the unknown. And a lot of people have bad dreams about what comes next, and the next thing you know they're running a religion and we're all in trouble. Horses! <laughs> You've got to love the horses. Kelly came up there at that school for rich kids going wrong when me and Marlene were running the kitchen around 1973 and 74. They had an equestrian program that was dynamite, man. And those kids were good. And they did cross-country riding. Kelly was about 10 years old, man. And she would go over these jumps that would terrify me right now, man. But these kids were good riders and they did bond with those horses and they did love them. And I want to tell Joe, Horses and people go together. Look at Sagittarius. He's half a dude and he's half a horse. He can shoot you with an arrow or stomp you with his hoofs. He's cool. I love the bodybuilding ladies. I love it. I love it when they just fight back, man, and bite some dude's finger off who's trying to do a rape. That's one of my favorite stories from Burbank. Guy attacked a karate chick. Anyway, <laughs> T-Bone Shuffle was beautiful. That was good stuff. I wrote down good stuff, and then Doug said good stuff, and I flashed on Chuck Barris for that. Anyway, quite a morning. Oh Thank God. you very much. Woo! Thanks to our co-host, Susan Rosen, Patricia Martin, and Joe Rayola. Uh, check out his upcoming uh, great event in New York City for John Lennon. Thanks, Owen. So let's push pushing the right buttons. Thank you, Lori. Yeah, Carroll, right. Ziegelman, <laughs> and thanks to Lindsay Yonden from... Horse shows in the 